there's all this white stuff falling from the sky at kind of an alarming rate, which is generally not good for half pipe skiing, but not something we can control. So we're gonna go out there and have fun anyways in the powder pipe. Powder pipe 2K19, here we go. It has not even considered slowing down out here. Well, the half pipe is slowing down, but the snow is not. So it's gonna be really interesting. Now we got some wind and some fog. We're just getting it all today. We're getting everything we can get. Olympic gold medalist David Wise coming in for his second run. Wise coming off of an injury, yeah. looking for something big here as he's sitting on just a 30. The young man out of Reno, Nevada on course. And a significant injury at that. The femur, mm. largest bone of the body broken. That is no fun whatsoever. And coming back absolutely firing with the double cork 1260 right into a big 1080. Teeing things up, switch. There's the right side nine. His grabs locked in as usual. David Wise putting down a really solid run. Would be a, an appropriate score. Uh, probably the latter. There you go. 85 2 5. Puts a two time Olympic gold medalist now into second place behind Aaron Blanc. Bro, how was that run? Oh, man. It is a serious fight in there to get speed, but I actually had enough time to open up on my dub 12. So. Yeah, it was a top to bottom. I could certainly do it a lot better, but I could also do it worse. Pretty hyped. Sitting in second place, here comes David Wise. All right, David Wise starting off with a lofty 900 with the tail grab. Into the 1080. The switch seven sets him up to that right nine. And back to back, now you see the head shake there because he knows he's got way more to give you guys. That solidifies that you're winning and defending champion here yeah, at Over yeah. for the Grand Prix. Make some noise for Christian Butte, Aaron Block. How'd she rip today, Dave? Oh, well, it was a bit of a, it was a struggle out there. I landed one of three runs well, and it was just good enough to get me onto that podium, which is more than I could have hoped for. I'm just hyped. Hyped to have landed some good runs. It's just building momentum going, going into a good year. Stoked. And in second place, member of the U.S. Hot Pot team of 8525, a two-time Olympic gold medalist. Yeah, Dave. Dave. Wow. Your winner, Lando of the U.S. Grand Prix, going back to back wins in copper, a member of that very, very strong U.S. Half Five Team. Let's hear it for Aaron Blanc. Yeah, One more time, there's your top three: Noah Bowman third, David Wise second, and your winner, Aaron Blanc. Yeah, my, uh, my level of thankfulness to be out here riding as, as high as it could possibly be. I was just, even through practice and in qualifiers when we had amazing conditions, I was just uh, having fun skiing and I'm really being super calculated uh, about how much like hard tricks I do. And if I'm being totally honest, I was lucky with the weather because I haven't done a lot of my normal tricks yet because I'm still coming back from uh, this pretty big injury. But, um, so I, I just embraced it, I had fun out there. And, uh, once I saw other guys landing tricks, I was like, all right, we're going to have a good day, and, and I'm stoked that we did. Well, that's it for Copper. It went as well as we could have hoped. The weather cooperated with me personally excellently, and also got to go out after the shred today, after the half pipe contest, and get a little soul shredding in. And all around, I'm stoked. Start to a great season. See you guys at the next one.
Thank <laughs> you.